People ask me all the time, Jesse, what's in your doc? What type of applications do you recommend that would be really helpful for me as a creative professional? Well, thanks for asking that question. You are in luck because in this video, I'm gonna share with you five really useful applications that will help you in your creative work. This video is sponsored by SetApp. SetApp is a one-stop app subscription for Mac and iPhone users, covering all the tools that you'll need to solve your daily tasks and get more work done. And every single one of the applications I'm gonna to mention today, you can actually get with your SetApp subscription. We'll talk more about that in a little bit, but for now, let's dive into the very first app that I think is really helpful. Have you ever been cruising a website and thought to yourself, what dimension is that button or how wide is the column that they're using? I do this all the time. And for that purpose, I'm going to recommend Pixel Snap. Pixel Snap is a great little tool that once you download actually lives in your toolbar and it'll allow you to do exactly what we just talked about, which is find the dimensions using a hotkey. You can also set some tolerances and change a few settings around, but basically it lets you do one thing and do it really, really well, which is press command, shift F, and now I'm able to actually snap the pixels. There is really strange, there is some smart snapping that takes place. It can kind of read what's on the screen. And so if I wanted to figure out how how wide it is from this card all the way across. I can actually just kind of snap all the way across, let go, and you can see my dimensions are shown in the middle. And when you roll over those dimensions, you can actually take a quick little screenshot, which is kind of nice, it sends it right to your desktop. This is just one of those applications that I always end up needing and it's always running. You can make sure that it's running at login whenever you start your computer. And it's just one quick key command away from being able to measure something, whether you're in the browser, or in an application, looking at a website, whatever it is, you can actually just snap away and grab the dimensions and the pixels and those screenshots, that's Pixel Snap. The next app on this list is a great tool if you use a lot of iconography. You need to store, organize, and have icons readily accessible at all times. Well then, I can't recommend enough Icon Jar. Icon Jar is a library. It is a repository of all of the iconography that you use. You can grab iconography from anywhere and store it in Icon Jar. You can even download specific Icon Jar packs that come in the hundreds and thousands and then just upload those jars to Icon Jar. What's great about Icon Jar is everything is organized. You can see over here on the left hand side, I'm using a material design icon set right now. I can look for things that have to do with maps, things that have to do with home things that have to do with hardware or AV. I can look for things that have to do with files or alerts or places. And literally all you have to do is drag these things out as SVG form directly into your design. So if I want this great looking bathtub over here, all I have to do is literally just drag that bathtub out and put it in my design on the desktop. Icon Jar has a couple of other really great features I wanna show you now. Once we're in Icon Jar, you can select your icon and you can actually change the format in which you want to export it out as. You can also change the size of it, rename it, organize things a little bit, but this feature is super great. You can open it in all the different design programs. I have Illustrator selected, so all I have to do is with the tap of a button, it's immediately going to open up my icon, and there we go. We have our icon ready to use and ready to edit, customize, do whatever I need to it, and that's why Icon Jar is such a fantastic application for creatives to have. The next application that's an absolute must doesn't deal with iconography, but this time it deals with typography, which if you're a creative professional and you're working with typography, you need to store, you need to organize, you need to categorize, you need to be able to turn fonts on and off and just kind of manage all of them. And for that need, I recommend Typeface. Typeface is exactly what you need. It just organizes all of your typography, allows you to typeset things, check things, turn them on and off. We have to stop going into the old school native font book, trying to do what we wanna do with it. It's never gonna be all that we hope it will be. But if you use something like Typeface, you actually can make it be all that you want it to be. We can zoom in and out so we can see our typography at a glance, like at a 10,000 foot view or pushed in really, really far. We can also typeset things. So instead of hello world, we can put uh, your name here. And also as we're typesetting, you can left align, right align, center align, mess with all the ligatures and do all that fun stuff. But you can also organize, categorize and filter and search by specific characteristics that your typography has. Like maybe I'm looking for only monospaced items or only sans or serif fonts. This is 
a really nice application with great features that allows me to do all the things with typography that I want it to do. It saves me tons of time and allows me to favorite and categorize different typography and font sets. That way I can get to them quicker next time. You might be watching me list all of these rad programs and applications off and thinking to yourself, I can't afford all of those different applications and there's a whole bunch of other ones I want too. I wish I had the money. I wish I was able. Well, that's why SetApp has sponsored this video. SetApp is an amazing one-stop app subscription service for Mac and iPhones and it just saves you the time of going out and finding and subscribing to all these different applications, all these different great programs. You can find anything and everything that you're probably looking for in SetApp. When you use SetApp, it's just one monthly subscription subscription and you get access to hundreds and hundreds of really beneficial applications, especially for us creatives. All you got to do is head over to setapp.com. You can find the link in the description and it's a special promo link for all of my subscribers where you can go check it out free for 30 days. When you head over to setapp.com, you can sign up. You can also just browse all the different applications that they have. They have them all categorized, maintenance, lifestyle, productivity, security, development tools. And so the creativity ones are especially choice. You're really going to dig those. I use a lot of the finance apps, productivity apps, creativity apps, and then maintenance and security apps that are offered. And it just saves me a ton of money and a ton of time. I just sign up for one subscription. I get everything I need. Once you've signed up for SetApp, then you get access to download the SetApp application itself, which houses all of the different applications that you can kind of shop in between and check out all the different things that you might use, like color management and editing photos, recording editing videos, making animated GIFs and animated HTML5 content. There's tons of things here for you to explore. It is super worth it. This next application is not in and of itself a creative application, but it is great for creatives because creatives need to focus. And that's why I really enjoy using be focused. It's a simple Pomodoro timer. Plus you can actually establish and set up all of your to do's for the day. It lives inside of your menu bar up here in the top. And I can simply create a bunch of different to do's like this could be to do one and I can do another one. Let's call this uh, uh, check my email or something like that. Once I've scheduled all the things I need to do for the day via my to do list, I can then press play and each of them get a Pomodoro Pomodoro timer that's run on them. So boom, we're immediately on a Pomodoro timer to check my email. And when it's done, it will go into the complete section when I check it off. I can run as many as I want and you have the ability to run breaks on this Pomodoro timer too. But the Pomodoro technique is a great method to help you focus and mixing that with the power of the to-do list all in one in your menu bar. It's not a heavy application. It's super easy to use. It just helps me stay really focused, really organized and get a lot of stuff done. And lastly, when I'm trying to get things done, the worst thing that could happen is for my computer to be bogged down, slow, and running really clunky. And that's why you got to use Clean My Mac. The most recent version is Clean My Mac X. This thing is absolutely fine tuned to clear up all that old junk, all that stuff that you're not using anymore. I like to run a simple system scan. It's going to do a cleanup. It's going to run protection and it's also going to check my speed. You can also delete multiple files, check for malware and do recovery, privacy, install and update applications all right here from Clean My Mac. I'm going to finish running everything through Clean My Mac, delete everything in my trash, restart my computer, and you're going to notice a massive uptick in performance in your machine. If this is the main thing that you're using to get work done, it's nice to have it running smooth. Well, there you go. Those are five really helpful tools that I use as a creative professional and all these applications you can find inside of SetApp. Remember, there's a link down in the description for you to check out SetApp for yourself. Make sure you check it out. You won't regret it. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you leave a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel and hit that little bell notification icon so you know when more videos like this one come out. If you have any questions, leave those down in the comments. And again, check the description for helpful links. I hope you're having an amazing week. I hope you're designing amazing things. Hope you're making amazing things. And I hope that you're finding the apps and tools that make your creative life a little easier. See you in the next one.